pizza recipe which can be made out of French toast. Yes, you heard it right. So this recipe is basically wherein I'm going to first make the French toast and in the French toast I'm going to add the pizza toppings, the herbs and the cheese. Sounds delicious, isn't it? So let's get started. Let's have a look at the ingredients. You would need a couple of bread slices. Personally, I could eat only one because it has egg and it has other vegetables and cheese. You would also need eggs. Well, uh, the number of eggs depends on the number of bread slices that you use. You would need vegetables. I've used onions, some tomatoes and bell peppers. You would also need some shredded cheese. If you want, you can also use corn. Break the egg and add some salt to it. Beat it well. Now add some oregano and chili flakes to it. If you want, you can totally omit the chili flakes. It all depends on your taste. Mix it thoroughly and then add some garlic powder and crushed black pepper. These are the last set of herbs and spices that we are adding. Now let's move to the next step of rolling the bread slices a little thinner than usual. With the help of a rolling pin, roll the bread slices. Meanwhile, heat a pan and add 1 tablespoon of oil into it and pour the egg batter. Now dip the bread slice and turn it over. This way, the bread on the other side will also have enough amount of egg on it. Now cook this herb spice french toast on both the sides so that the egg is equally divided on each side. Keep flipping in between. Once you turn it over, make sure that the side that has more egg is at the bottom because that is what is going to form our base. Now take about a tablespoon of ketchup and apply on the other side which is facing up. Add the chopped veggies on top. Sprinkle some garlic powder, salt and oregano on top of these veggies. Top it up with a lot of cheese because I like it that way. It gives me the real pizza feeling. Add some chopped cilantro on top of it and cover it and let it cook on a low heat for about 5 to 7 minutes. Wow, can you see that? My cheese has completely melted. Immediately serve it on a plate and garnish it with some chopped spring onions. It gives a very good color. Well, I personally like only one egg per slice, but if you want, you can use two eggs per bread slice. I am going to dig in immediately. Thank you so much friends for watching this video. I hope you liked it and you'll soon try making this at home. I hope this little video of mine has brought a little light and little colors to the boring French toast that we usually eat. Do let me know how did it turn out in the comment section below. I would love to read them all. And as I always say, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. And I shall meet you in a few weeks from now. Until then, stay healthy and stay safe. And coming up next is the Gujarati Khaman that I'll be making from the scratch. Don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get the latest notification.